Let me show you how to make animations for GDevelop. I mean, 3D animations. Um, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how to separate the animations so you can use them in GDevelop. For this example, I'm gonna use uh, Icon 7. You can use any other software. Or Icon 7 just happens to be super easy to uh, for making animations. So let me select a character here. Uh, let me try non-human. I'm gonna try this uh, this guy here. If you don't have Icon 7, download it. The link is down below. Uh, you can download the uh, free trial version. So let me just um, reset this. Zero out this. And there is our character. I believe that uh, anyone can animate in Icon 7. You don't necessarily have to be an animator. So let me go here to animation. I'm gonna go to the animation puppet. And let me get a running animation. You can preview this by pressing spacebar. And you can exaggerate this whatever way you want. Okay. I'm going to record roughly about, um, I don't know, about 120 s frames. I was going to say seconds. Let me uh, bring my timeline here. And I'm just going to loop this here. So. I think it loops roughly around frame 57 from my pre previous experience. Okay, so let me grab the, um, I don't know what that's called, but this is where, where the animation would loop. And uh, let me see if that loops. Hit the loop. Hello, Bruce Play. Okay. <laughs> Little delay there. Uh, Try 56 and frame still does it. Maybe maybe it's 50 frames. No, right, 50 frame. All right, 50 frames seems to work fine. So um, I'm just gonna make some other animations. Okay, so let me just um, break the animation here. Go to break and delete the rest of the animation. All right, so back to the um, motion puppet, and this time we want like an idle animation. So let me find idle here. Maybe some sort of fighting position. You know, he's not moving because uh, I think it's this here. The range needs to be extended. Okay, try this again. Motion puppet, and try our um, uh, idle animation. There we go. Okay, I'm going to record roughly um, the same, about 120 frames, so I can select. And that should be fine there. Uh, I could record another animation as well. And, uh, maybe um, uh, talking or something. I mean, you can make your own animations too. Um, Try this one here. Oh, that could be like a blocking animation. I like that. Okay, so record that as well. Okay. <clears throat> we can make more animations, but I want to keep this video short another frame where his foot's back down again right there so we can loop the animation to make sure that um, it loops properly for blending the two animations if you wanted to blend the animations in between but we don't want to do that so I guess we can start here the animations have become Okay, so we have three animations. Let me export this as an FBX. And I'm going to export this for Blender, 30 frames per second. We can use 60 if you wanted that to be more smooth. I'm leaving this uh, super low resolution. I want to export from 1 to 400 frames. 480 frames. And hair guy. Okay. Ports are super quick. Okay, so let's open Blender. 
and we are going to import our character it's an FBX file on our desktop I forgot how to use blender <laughs> how do you rotate okay you gotta left click to rotate okay uh, let me see if I remember. okay all right so let's go to the uh, dope sheet which is here somewhere there it is and now we need to go to the action editor and uh, maybe we can rename this animation to something else like um, running okay let's make a copy of this actually we need three copies and you can see that we have three copies now the second animation will be called idle animation and the third animation we're gonna call it um, uh, I don't know what can we call it um, block or something okay so let's go to the first animation the running animation mm. and that starts here and roughly ends around here I think that's the last frame right there zoom in okay. so you can safely begin deleting these frames just gonna zoom out and start deleting this bunch of frames super easy to do okay that's my first animation running animation uh, let me go to my idle animation keep deleting the whole thing I think you have to leave one frame otherwise it deletes everything so you have to zoom out Okay, delete that there. We need to place these um all the ways back here like this. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, we deleted that frame, so now we can push this. There's our idle animation. Let me go to the blocking animation. And we push this whole animation all the way to zero. And there we go. We have our... Blah, blah. Okay, so we have our three animations here. Uh, we don't need lights, so delete that there. You don't need the camera. Uh, let's export this as an GLB uh, file. So we can use it in um, GDevelop. So let me just call this um, red hair guy uh, animated. Okay, export. Okay, now back to GDevelop. Let me import that um, model. Import 3D model. Choose the file. And we are going to choose our uh, character we just animated in icon 7 uh, hit this button here for the scanning for missing animations and then you're going to see your three animations running animation idle and whatever so the running one we wanted to loop I guess the idle one we wanted to loop as well maybe not the block one okay so let me uh, apply that and um, there is our animated character so if you press press play it will play the first animation which is the um, blocking something animation okay <laughs> it's close look a bit funny uh, I'll show you how to fix that later okay for now let me just rotate this character um, let's say maybe 90 degrees okay maybe not 90 degrees on, on the X um this is oh my god it's gonna be the last one all right it's gonna be 90 degrees rotation there on the white axis so he's sideways and press preview there is our guy over there okay it's kind of small actually compared to the um, stage size you can literally just resize this like you would any other character i'm just gonna stretch this 
hold shift to um, uniformly scale this. That is our character. Okay. Now this layer here, we can add effects to this. Um, add a 3D effect to this. Hemisphere light. Okay, something here. Um, maybe we can optimize his uh, clothing. I'm gonna go to modifiers here. 